Oh my God. So glad to be here. I just drove through a blizzard. We had a blizzard in Michigan. We had one of the bitches yesterday. It's still going. I'm not there though. Thank fucking God. I'm here. It's a little colder, but less snow. The food's better. Thank fucking God. Uh, I'm from Michigan. I'm 38 years old. Uh, I just say I'm from Michigan because I moved around a lot when I lived there. Like I lived all over the place. But I was born and raised in Detroit. That's where I'm from. Detroit. That's right. Thank you, three people. Y'all understand. I'm good with Detroit. It's like, man. I left the second I could, man. But every time I leave, I always miss my city. The reason I like Chicago, though, I've been here a lot. I like Chicago. I like y'all city because you're one of the few cities in this country, like Detroit, that still has a fucking personality. You know what I'm talking about? Like, y'all got a personality. I love that shit, man. Every time I come here, like, it's just like honking horns and everybody hates each other. I'm just like, yeah. I love that shit. Y'all honk horns like a motherfucker over here, man. What the fuck is that about, man? I went out and my friend was like, yeah, we learned to drive like one hand on the wheel and one hand honking. What the fuck? That's some rude ass motherfuckers over here, man. Goddamn. I don't like it. It reminds me of Detroit. A little rude there. Y'all heard of that place, right? A couple of murders happened before. I love it though, it's a fun city. I like it because like old black men in Detroit will just like bring you into their wild mind all the time. Like whether you want it or not, you'll just be sitting there and they're just like, you gotta get part of this shit now, bro. It happens, man. Like I was sitting in the bar one time, my mom dad business in Detroit, and a song came on the radio. The song Bad and Bougie by Migos. You remember that one, right? Yeah, it's a rap classic, baby. For anyone who doesn't know, it's a song that came out like five years ago, and there's a line in the song that goes like this. It goes, raindrop, drop top, cooking up dope in a crock pot. It's one of the lines. It's fucking good. It's good. That's artistry right there, man. So that line happens, and to my right, old black man at the bar just goes like this. Hey, yo, young bird! I was like, what? You can't cook dope in a crock pot. Too much moisture gets in, ruins your dope. I was like, yeah. You tried this shit? This brother's got some knowledge. I like that. That's the trick, man. I was over there in the winter one time. I'm watching the Winter Olympics at a hotel bar. Just having a drink, watching the Olympics. That's the Winter Olympics, that one thing that comes around every year that you don't ever fucking think about. But when it's on, you watch that shit the whole Olympics, right? You're always doing the curling or ice skating or some bullshit. You love that shit. Nobody will admit it. Nobody here will admit it right now. But you all watch that shit. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Got one strong winter person over here. I got stones at home, baby. I fucking crushed. I like that. <laughs> I'm sitting tomorrow, I'm watching the Olympics. It's couples ice dancing. Man and woman ice skating together, doing fancy, smancy shit, right? At one point, the gentleman grabs the lady, picks her up, spins her twice, she lands. Perfect. I was like, yeah, that's impressive. To my left was an old black man. <laughs> and he was just like, hey, brother. I was like, what? I just spun that bitch three times. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm not old enough to be that black yet. I still gotta wear tight pants. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, gotta earn this shit, man. I'm only 38. You know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> I ain't been hosed down yet. I can't be that old and shit. And some of these jokes are just for black people. <laughs> but like real talk, I'm 38. I'm a little older. You know, get to the middle of life now. You know? But every now and then I have uh, old person tendencies. You know what I'm talking about? Like, just randomly, out of nowhere, you act 40 years older, and you just go, ah, it just happens. <laughs> Shit happens to me sometimes, man. I'm a pretty peaceful guy. I'm a nice guy. I don't get angry. I was like, I did the angry shit when I was younger. I did it. I don't do that shit anymore. It takes a lot to rock me. But one thing that does piss me the fuck off is when little kids swear. I don't like that shit, man. I don't want no little kids that's, you know what I mean? Like, you don't pay bills. You can't say fuck. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> they don't earn the right for that, but they do it, man. That's the only thing that pissed me off. Like one day I'm sitting on my porch doing what old men I'm assuming will be doing is just scroll through Reddit in the front porch and rock the chair. That's what I do, man. I'm like, I'm gonna give me a fucking bourbon, sit in this goddamn porch, and I'm gonna laugh at the rest of the world. So. One day I'm sitting on my porch scrolling through Reddit. In the street, there's two little kids, they're being low badasses, and I'm getting real annoyed. They're yelling at each other like, hey, It's like, and one of them's like, in my mind, I'm sitting on the porch like, 
ignore these kids. It's not your kids. Ignore these kids. But they won't shut the fuck up. And they just keep going, hey, what the fuck you want to do, sir? What the fuck you want to do, sir? And finally, I snapped and had an old man move. I was like, hey, 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 shut out that foolishness. Oh, shit. God damn, I gotta go to the sound and get a sweet tea now. What the fuck? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, if I were going to go into 
a KFC tomorrow, right? <laughs> Chicken right now. <laughs> Don't worry about the drink about my own Kool-Aid. We good. <laughs> hey, I'm not Logan. You're Logan Fantastic.